Hi, I'm Paul Rako. This is the Atmel Edge, the show that makes you well-rounded and well-grounded. The show's for engineers, hobbyists, makers, technicians, anyone with an interest in electronics, technology, even the mechanical engineers might learn a thing or two. Today's show is Debug 102. It's going to talk about the introduction of Atmel's new debugger, the Atmel Ice, and that's going to replace both our Dragon and the JTAG Ice 3. Better yet, it's less expensive, and we sell a stripper version, just a PCB, for $32. You can't beat that. We'll still be offering the AVR1 that has trace capability, $600, and we'll have boards like the SAM D20 Explained Pro that have a debugger chip built on them. If you're doing big iron stuff, like the SAM Cortex-A5, the SAM-A5, which is a Cortex, ARM Cortex M5 chip, well, that you can use, so there's enough pins on it, we can bring the conventional JTAG interface out. And there we have the SAM ICE that you can use both for our SAM A5 and our SAM 9 ARM-based products. So let's get started. Okay, so in our last show, Debug 101, we told you about debuggers that Atmel makes to help you get your code up and working fast. The debugger can look inside your chip while it's running, you can set breaks points, so the $39 version is the Atmel Dragon. The Dragon connects through a cable to the Tiny Tens, to all of our AVR 8-bit chips that you look inside as the code executes. Then we have the JTAG ICE Mark III, sometimes called the JTAG ICE III. It's $100. That works not only for the AVR 8-bit, AVR 32-bit, also, with a firmware upgrade, you can make it work with the SAM D20, which is an ARM Cortex M0 based microcontroller that we make. Finally, we have the Big Iron, this AVR1, that can do trace capability. And the nice thing about trace capability, it lets you look where the program went after it's uh, executing full time. You can go back and see the path that it took. So, if you have a complex program, a lot of interrupts, how to enter a module, how to leave a module, the trace capability really helps you. And that help isn't cheap, it, that's why this costs $600 at the Atmel store. You can get these products through distribution as well, through our distributors. Some products like the Sam D20 Explained Pro Board have a debugger chip built into it. And not only that, there's a little header so that you can come off of it when you've got your own circuit board designed, when you've used this to get started and got the code pretty well figured out, then you can use, uh, you know, you lay out your own circuit board, has the Atmel chip on it, you can come off of this header and jump to your board and use this explained pro board as a debugger itself. So that's a great little feature to get you started. Now what we've done though, <coughs> we've, we're going to obsolete the Dragon and the JTAG ICE 3 and replace that with the Atmel ICE. And this product you can get with cables in a fancy case for $85. You can get the case and uh, just the USB in a single cable for I believe $42. And then if you just get a bare board with no case and no cables, uh, the price gets down to $39, cheaper than a Dragon. But get this, you can, pro you can debug both AVR 8-bit chips AVR 32-bit chips, and all of the ARM MCUs, the microcontrollers where the memory, the flash memory is built inside the chip. If you have big iron products like, like the SAM A5, the Cortex A5 based parts, there there's enough pins, we have a conventional JTAG interface, and you can use the SAM ICE uh, debugger and look inside the chip. Same for the ARM 9, the, uh, the SAM 9 series of, of chips we make. So this can get you a real quick start. It can let you look and watch your code execute, set breakpoints, do things like that. We're still going to keep the AVR1 for those of you that need trace capability. Okay, so can't have a new uh, new product introduction without a deboxing, right? Got to unbox this thing. Here's the unit. It looks similar to the JTAG ICE 3, except that's silver and has paint on it. In order to keep the cost down and actually lower the cost from 100 to 85, this is just a plain white case and it probably is hard to see in this light, but it's got Atmel logo here and then AVR and SAM to tell you 
uh, there's two connectors. That's the easy way to tell the JTAG Mark III, which is very similar size to this Atmel ice apart. The two connectors tell you. Uh, this being the $85 kit, you get a little box with the cables. And for me, you know, doing engineering work, I like to get all the cables for one reason. It uses the micro USB to make the product so small. We use the micro USB connector and that might not be handy, but it come, we give you the cable in the two versions, the 85 and the $42 version. You get the micro USB cable that then plugs in directly to your computer. And then we have the two debug cables that can go in the other connectors, the, the AVR and the SAM connector to do 8-bit, 32-bit AVR, as well as your ARM-based MCU, microcontroller. So this product will get you up and started. It's small, it's light, it fits on your bench really well. So check it out. They're in the Atmel store now. We sell them through distribution. The various distributors that sell Atmel products also have the debuggers available. And hope it makes your project a lot easier. Once you get used to, instead of doing printf statements out of serial port, once you get used to actually looking at registers and watching things operate, a debugger makes your life so much easier. So there you have it. I'm Paul Rako. This is the Atmel Edge. Catch you next time. <laughs>